be looking at a surfer who, to be honest with you, up until this video, I had no idea who this person was, but Clayton's asked me to download the video, so we're going to analyse the surfing of Bobby Martinez. All right, <clears throat> let's just push play on this because, oh, look at that takeoff. Look at this. Just glided in, arch your back right down to the bottom, leans on the rail, boom, just leans it over. Look at that coffee cup hand. You're going to cut, you can see he's just tilting that coffee cup over. Pouring his coffee out. Pouring it out, pouring it out, pouring it out, and boom, beyond vert, on a foam ball. This guy's an absolute legend. Right, let's just keep watching oh, for a bit. What did you just have for lunch? You're super energetic. Boom. It's just everything's on point. Look, crack. Look how long the turn was. Pretty <sighs> impressive. Honestly, if I had a backhand, I would want to surf like Bobby Martinez. If you had a backhand, you can have a backhand. You just well, yeah, maybe, so maybe I just said that wrong. Okay. I start breaking some stuff down now. Okay. So he's not going vertical on here. So yeah, he needs to maintain his speed. So... He doesn't do a quick flick. He does mm -hmm. a long down calf. Yep. Now on the down calf, notice how his head is lower than his bottom and he's leaning it over. His bum's actually up in the air a bit there. Yeah, so if you think about it, if you're leaning over, like yep. you want to fall down that wave, your body weight will help pull you down the wave. So the biggest problem with surfers is they go up and they're standing up dead straight. So there's no like incentive for the board to ride down the wave. But if you lean over... You're going to want to go down there. Okay, wave. I hear that, but just, just, just for me there, I think that a lot of people there would be worried about just falling straight forwards and face planting the face of the wave by, by going that far over. Because then you have to twist and bring the board under you. Okay, so, so you so you got to have the twist as well as that, yep, otherwise so you will fall flat it comes on your face. And there's the twist back. Right? Now, straight into that coffee cup. Look at the hands up. Yep. A lot of people at that point, they drop their hands. So they, they kind of lose the speed, yep. lose the energy. And then he just rebounds and connects, soft knees. Yeah, that like dropping the hands is like a downwards energy straight to the bottom of the yeah. seabed, isn't it, kind of thing? Look at the arm raise. And see how he, he compresses? So he softens on the way down. And then watch him pass the coffee cup. He looks, 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 looks. Another down calf. Boom, right into the power of the wave. So he's just doing his well, yeah, every, figure eights. Every single one of those, he's going right back to the foam, isn't he? Yeah, so he's, he's reconnecting with the energy. And it mm. looks effortless because... He's using his wave energy. Yeah. Um, and then the wave stands up. It's a little bit flat still. Brings it back down. So full turns. Oh, look how upside down this dude is. That, to me, it's like he's snowboarding a half pipe. He's like on rail, upside down, upside down. So he's not standing on the board. There's a transition where he stands, right back down, and then... You look at that part there, he's on rail again. Yeah. So he's not standing on the board. Now, the big thing between Bobby Martinez, Luke Egan, Taj Burrows is that back coffee cup arm. Look how high it is. Yeah. Um, and then he twists. He's eyeballing where he wants to hit. Boom. And look how he takes it back. So look at the degree, the, the angle. So the angle of entry to to where he comes out, that is it's huge. a massive arc. Mm, so it's like 270 big. degrees. Yeah, and then he just flows down and around again. Boom, straight up, straight down, nose to the beat. And I think, again, the big thing is him getting both his hands forward so you yeah. can, can see and identify those sections. Yeah, especially because that's, that's on his backhand. Look at that, it's absolutely beautiful. Look at the flow. So he, his movements are mm. soft. So you know the whole Muhammad Ali float like a butterfly? Check this guy's float. It's just like, boom. How soft was that? Mm. He looked quite a big muscly guy as well, but he, ma he makes himself look really light on that board. Yeah, so where does lightness come from? It's about having your hands up, mm. keeping your back straight, and keep your legs soft. Yeah. So I absolutely love the lightness. And then look at the section when it stands up. Bang, right round to the foam. 
Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at this. Straight up, straight down. And he comes up, lifts the coffee cup up. Yeah. Look where he's going. So again, light on his feet. So holy crap, that guy surfs absolutely amazing. Uh, I was so sorry when he left the tour. Um, it was definitely one of my favorite surfers. Mm. Um, honestly, if I could trade some old guys for some of the, the newer guys, I'd definitely bring like Taj Burrows back, Bobby Martinez, Dane Reynolds. Like that would then be my dream tour. Like okay. some of those, even some of old Tom Curran, like at the point breaks. Yeah. Um, love to see those guys battling it out because my gosh, they surf amazing. So, so, so watching Bobby then. So let's 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 wrap this one up. Yeah, because you got particularly excited then. You talked about a lot of things. What would be your your big takeaway to take from Bobby? Like, if somebody was going to go out surfing, what is the one thing that they could take from him that they can try in the water next time okay, they go so out? So, if you can look at my hand, yep, you can see it, when yep. Bobby goes for a turn, he doesn't stand on top of the board. Okay, when he goes for a turn, he actually gets inverted. Like he's falling upside down, mm. twists and brings the board around and underneath him. Kind of like a guy on a motorbike going around a berm. Yep. So he's basically he's going into that like three-dimensional phase, like a, like a fighter pilot mm. would go upside down on the aeroplane. Yeah. Okay, because they're, they're in the sky, they can do that. As opposed to someone driving a car, you can't because they're just stuck in one plane. Yeah. Now, a lot of people surf like they're driving a car in that one plane. You've got to start getting off balance on your turns and getting upside down and inverted and then your surfing will go to another level yeah yeah absolutely so if you haven't liked or subscribed to the channel yet make sure that you hit that subscribe button also that notification bell make sure you hit that so you get notified of any videos when we release them we do the we're doing the coach dice series at the moment but we also go live every wednesday that is on youtube also in the facebook group the surf hacks group if you're not already a member i just jump over there if you're interested in taking your surfing to the next level then you can always check out the accelerated surf program there'll be a link underneath this video for you to check that out but until the next video get out there catch some waves and yeah just go out there and feel the stoke <laughs>